has done all of that. You're going to use that information now to create an, a balance sheet, my bad, in Google Sheets. How many of you have used Google before? Sheets, rather. A little bit? Okay, so a fair number of you, okay. So we're gonna start off with basics, very basic, okay? Now, I am truthfully an, an Excel fan. Google Sheets is a little bit less powerful and whatnot than Excel. So most of you, honestly, when you go to college, your colleges are gonna use the Microsoft Office products and they're better, but um, you know, Google's free, so we use Google, all right? Um, <laughs> So we're gonna start off by creating a spreadsheet. Um, and the name of the spreadsheet is gonna be, we're gonna title it CAS1-01, okay? Dirk's balance sheet, and then your name. And Mrs. McGrath, so I'm gonna put Mrs. McGrath, okay? And then you guys are gonna share it with me Okay, you don't have to, you can do that now or whatever, but then share it with me, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is, um, as we look at our, our balance sheets, okay, um, we know that we have to start off our balance sheet with a heading, right? So we're going to start, first of all, um, every spot on a, on a spreadsheet has a reference, and, a, and it's called a cell reference. Um, this particular cell is the combination of A, column A, and row one, okay? Um, and then each one goes accordingly, okay? Um, when you use a spreadsheet, you're going to make sure you know what cell you're actually operating within, and you'll see what I mean in a second. But I'm going to type the first line of my heading here, starting in cell A1. And it's Dirks, as we know, with our heading, we start our heading out with the name of the company, Dirks Company. And then our second line is called the balance sheet. And then the third line is gonna be the date, July, I think this one was 31st, and we can use 2020, okay? Now, as we said, our heading is going to be centered, okay? Right at this moment, um, we don't know exactly what it's going to be centered across, so I'm going to hold off on centering it, but we do know that we're going to have assets on one side, so if we put our assets in column A, and then the number here, and then let's just say we leave a space holder here in C, and I'll show you why in a minute. And then we do D is going to be our liabilities. And then E is going to be our numbers associated with our liabilities. So we have one, two, three, four, five that we're going to be spread across. So now I can figure out how to center my heading. I go back up to A1. Tell me to slow down if you need me to slow down. Everybody with me? All right. Go back up to A1, and then I left click and highlight across to E1. Okay. And then I use this tool over here. It's called the merge and center. Or, well, it's called the merge. It's a merge and center in, in, in Excel. Merge, I'm going to merge those cells. That's going to make those cells into one cell. Now I'm going to center this. I'm going to use the center tool, which is right to the right here, and I'm going to go like this and center it. If I um, want to mark it again, sorry. Sure. Okay. So. Um, so, um, so if you go on, you click on cell A, and then you highlight over to cell E. 
Can you do that in, in? Oh, okay. So what you're doing then is you're capturing the bottom piece. So watch this. So down here, see this little dot on the bottom here? Can you guys see that um, out there? Okay. That little dot, if I hover over that, it's going to be called the fill and copy feature. It will copy things over. And I don't want to do that. So you don't want to hover over that little cell. Get in the middle of your cell and then highlight over, okay? And, and then do merge cells. Oops, my bad. Merge cells and then do center. And then you could do it for each row, same thing, okay? You can't do them all at once because then it will try to combine all of that into one ginormous cell and that won't work, okay? And then um, the bottom row, sometimes the date one, let's see, oh, date is gonna work out okay, all right. Sometimes with date, it will do something funky with it, okay? All right, then we're kind of done with the heading. Alec, are you good? Yeah. Okay, everybody good? Move on? Wait, can you do that one more time? Okay, which one? Uh, just like the last one. Okay, so, if I do again, I click on cell A, uh, A3 now. I'm gonna highlight over to E3. I'm gonna merge the cells. This time for whatever reason, it wants to right align it, but I don't want that. So I go to the the, mm, the tool to merge center or le uh, whatever, left align, right align, middle align. And I do that. Does that work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right. So now I've got that figured out. Now, my assets, same thing. My heading, like we talked about, I want to um, um, center my heading over my assets and my dollars for my assets. So I'm going to, again, hover and click and, and highlight over A and B to center this between A and B and do that. And then the same thing with liabilities. I'm gonna do it with D and E, and I'm gonna center it. I'm gonna merge them, and then I'm gonna center them. So merge first, center second. Now, we don't need this big column in the middle here. So we can kind of shrink that down. If we hover up here, see how I get that double arrow little thing up there between column C and column D? I'm gonna hover there and then I just drag it a little closer so that I'm gonna make this column C a little bit narrower. I just really need it as like a gap, a space holder, or that kind of thing. It's just aesthetically more pleasing, okay? Then I can bold all of this if I want to, if I highlight over all the headings, highlight over them all, and I go to the B, I can bold it. Same with my assets. I can click on that, and bold it. My liabilities, click on that and bold it, okay? Good, good? Okay. Second, then we're gonna get over here to our assets. Now we go, and we're just gonna list our assets. Cash, supplies, prepaid. You could uh, abbreviate prepaid insurance as PPD. Huh. and insurance. And then we have a total for our assets. We go over to the right side and we have for our liabilities, we have A, we could do slash P, accounts payable, health free. We only had the one liability. So then we have to go to our heading for our owner's equity. Owner's equity. So again, this is a heading, so we have to center it. So we again highlight, merge and center, and then center. And we want to bold it because it's a heading. 
And then we have for our thing, Nancy Jerks Capital. Oops, my bad. Okay. And this is a little tight here, Nancy Jerks Capital. So we wanna space out D a little bit more to make it a little wider. We can do the same thing where we hover up here and then make it a little bit wider. Oops, okay. And then we can enter our dollar amounts in, 375, 150, 150. Now, anytime I ask you for the rest of the year, how long did I say? For the rest of the year to calculate something, I never want you to calculate something where there should be an equation that you just put a number or don't use Excel or Google to sheets to sum it up for you. Because this is a giant calculator, really. And you should use the functions that are in it. Okay. So I never want to see you do this. Type in here 675. That's not what I want to see. I want to see you use the formula tools that are available to you in um, your in your program. So there's a couple of ways that you can do this. First of all, anytime you're in Excel or Google Sheets and you're trying to create a formula, all formulas start out with an equal sign. All formulas start out with an equal sign. So we start out with equal sign. We have a couple of ways that we can do this. We can just add it like a calculator would, 375 plus 150 plus 150. Oops, my bad, plus 150, okay? We could do that. Mrs. McGrath doesn't want you to do that, but you could do that, okay? This is a simple spreadsheet, easy to add up three numbers. What if you had a spreadsheet that had thousands of lines of data? Would you want to add each number individually? Shake your head, say no. No, Mrs. McGrath, I would not want to do that, okay? You would want to use the functions that are at your um, in, in your program. Okay, so there's this tool here, and there's lots of them, but this particular one here, if anybody learned this in their math classes, um, is, uh, what is it, I forgot the Greek, oh, the Greek letter is, this is the Greek letter, sigma, okay, add it up. It's the Greek letter for add it up, okay? Get the sum up. So if you go in here and you click on this drop down, you can see there's all these little formulas in here, okay? But we're going to use this one here called sum. And what it's going to say is you notice here that in my, in my cell, it's now plopping that formula in there. This um, row right up here is called the, the, the basically, the, it's where you're typing. Um, it's the function line or the formula line, okay? I want to get the sum of, and in this case, a range of data. So I'm going to click on the range of data and highlight it. So this is going to give me the sum of the range of data B6, so cell B6 through cell B8, okay? And then I hit enter. And now it's going to add it up for me. I could also do this using cell references. I always tell you to use cell references the reason I tell you to use cell references is because if you change one of those numbers in the referenced area, then it will automatically change your solution, which is what you want it to do, okay? So if I did, I could also do equal sign B6 plus B7, no, yeah, plus B8. That will give me the same answer, okay? But in this particular case, obviously, it's easier to just do the sum of the range. Okay, now um, here, same thing, AP uh, Health Free, I'm gonna put 25. And then Dirk's Capital is 650. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my total liabilities plus owners, you can abbreviate, OE. Oops, P O E. Okay, now. Look, see, my cell is not big enough to house all of this data, total liabilities plus OE. So what I can do is I go up here again between D and E, I hover there, get my two little arrows, and I double click. 
What double clicking is gonna do is it's gonna say to the program in there, hey, make it as wide as the widest cell in that column. Okay, the same thing will work if you had, if you double clicked between the, the rows, it will do the same thing, okay? And now what do I wanna do here? Do I wanna just type 650 and 25 and add them up and do 675? Say no, Mrs. McGrath. Nope, I wanna put a formula. And you can either do equal and click top one plus two and do that. So what did I do? I just did equal sign and I clicked on cell E6 and then I did plus and I clicked on cell E8 and I hit enter, okay? Or I can again use my sum of the range. Okay, it, either way will work. Okay, now I got one minute to finish. I want to also change this to be dollars. So I highlight this range and I click dollar signs. And I highlight this range and I click dollar signs. And then I want to have my ruling and double ruling. So I click up here to my borders. Click on my cell and I want to get more options here, but I want to get a top line and then I want to get a double bottom line. So I got to go to my options on the right, drop down and get a bottom line for my bottom. Oops, stinker. And here's where Google doesn't always play nice. I want my top order to be single. It's not going to play nice for me, is it? Nope, it's not going to play nice. Uh, all right, top is this <laughs> and bottom is that, okay? And if I like the way that's formatted, I can use my format tool brush, my format painter, and paint it over to the other cell just the same way. So I click on here, click on my paint form, format painter, and it will make it the same. And that's it. Okay. Now your balance sheet's all good to go. Okay. Mrs. McGrath, put your name down in the bottom left, just in case. Okay. And then make sure you share it with me. If you have um, questions, email me. Yeah. Uh, I just have a quick question about the total liabilities and owner's equity. How did you make that box like bigger? Oh, okay. Up here. So I'm going to go up here between D and E. Hover with the double yeah, uh, double arrows and double click left. Le left double click. Oh, okay. Okay. Or you can just go up there and drag it. That's the other way. You can drag it. Do you want us to do anything tonight for... Um, yeah, so the homework, I'm going to post up there a loom for chapter two notes, okay, for you guys. So work on the notes tonight for homework. And if you didn't finish this, do this for homework too. I'll post this as well in Google Classroom. So if you need to go back, you can refer to it. Okie dokie. Do you want Bye, us guys. To Bye, you guys. Have a good evening. Um, do you want us to turn in the, um, the Dirks thing that you told us to wait to turn in? Yes. If you're done with it, then go ahead and turn it all in. Yes. Okay. Bye-bye. See ya.